Nếu như Hà Nội Buffalo chờ đợi vào sự tỏa sáng của tâm linh ở trận derby vào ngày 8 tháng 8 tới đây, thì Thang Long Warriors sẽ phải phụ thuộc rất nhiều vào John Fields để tránh việc lần đầu tiên thua trắng đối thủ cùng thành phố tại regular season. Ở mảnh đất thủ đô, ngoại binh 35 tuổi có dịp tái ngộ huấn luyện viên Chris Dalio, một người thầy đặc biệt của cầu thủ này. I think John's a genuine person. He wears his emotions on his sleeve. He plays extremely hard. Uh, he's good with the locals. So those things I look for in a player. I brought him in to Thailand to play for me then. We won a championship there and that was about six, six or seven years ago. So, and then we keep in contact ever since then. Me and Coach Delio, we, we have a good relationship, man. It's kind of like, um, kind of like a father-son thing uh, when it comes to basketball. He, he, he's a tough man, Coach. So you know, when you first meet him, it's gonna be hard on you to make sure you pick up his system and his defense. And then once you pick up the system and defense, and you know you win for him. When I stay in Thailand. Uh, our best memory is when we won the uh, TPBL championship. Oh uh, man, just uh, accomplishing that with a great uh, set of group of local guys that we have. You know, Coach Delio's a joy, man. If you win for him, he'll love you forever. And we talk about those memories all the time here. I consider him one of my guys. And when you're one of my guys, I always try to take care of him. There's a line, you know, between player and coach. I understand all that. But anybody that plays for me, does well with me, does the things I ask, uh, I love my players. I speak highly of him on social media a lot because he's one of my guys. And uh, I promote my players that play for me. And people around the world see those posts. And if they're getting one of my guys, one of Chris Dalio's guys, they're going to play hard. They're going to be good with the locals. They're going to have success. Those are the players that I promote. So other people across the world see that, and they hire those people because they know they're getting a good recommendation, not a bunch of lies. As long as John continues to have success anywhere that he plays, I feel very, very happy with that. He's like an elder and a father figure and a great friend. Me and Coach, we go out to the movies a lot. Uh, we, we go out to eat, to dinner a lot. Man, I even go out with him when he goes and gets his tattoos, man. So me and me and coach are like this close, man. Then I had went separate ways to like Portugal and Japan and stuff like that. Coach tunes in and watch my games when I'm in Japan and Taiwan. And we developed that relationship that I can call him anytime and he picks up and he uh, tells me about my previous games and about what I can do better. Um, and I treasure that knowledge and I, and, I, and I use it. Man, I cannot say enough good things about the guy, how he helped me in my career and I really do appreciate him a lot. Và bây giờ sẽ là chàng trai của Thăng Long Warriors. Số 22, Bailey Johnfield The Thunder. Any time that I take a job, I don't call agents for my players. I call players that have played for me in the past that are part of my guys. I called John Fields. Absolutely, I did. Uh, he was playing in Japan. I called John, I explained the situation, the length of the season, the type of pay, and John agreed right away. Uh, and that was good for me because, you know, the pay is so much different than what it was used to. But uh, he came in as a favorite to me. I needed a familiar face and somebody that I knew and trusted. And so that was, that was how he is here now. It's it just business as usual. Um, you know, you know, coach is going coach his way and, you know, I'm going to play my way. He really puts me in position to succeed and I really appreciate that because I'm having a great season right now. Me and him, we just going to keep coexisting and, you know what I'm saying, doing what we do and hopefully we can, we can make the playoffs this year. We're having a level of success. We're trying to build a culture here as well and I think John's a big part of that. It feels good to be a Chris Delio guy, man. Because, uh, you know, coach treats me like family and I treat him back like family. And, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm just, man, I'm just so happy to be a Chris Delio guy, man. He might, he might, he might be a groomsman um, when, we, when me and my wife have the official wedding after we stop playing. I, I wish him nothing but the best of success in his life moving forward to the, you know, I have many players over my years and my 35 years, 30 years of coaching basketball where players now are retired and have kids, I still get messages. Players, their kids graduate from school, I still get messages about it. Happy Father's Day messages, uh, Merry Christmas messages. All that means a lot to me because I know players are respecting what we've done together, the time we've had together. I wish them nothing but the best. The players that are part of my group, I love.